Okay, I'm not sure if anybody's... I think I'm live. Anyway, um, hey everybody, who uh, anybody wants to pop in. I just, uh, you know, I, I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to do any stuff lately. So I just had, I just want to take a little time, just do a little live coding, and hopefully, you know, make something real quick. Just, just for fun. Um, hey, thanks, uh, I got a few people popping in. So I see it's for Tiz, coding made easy and something multi-purpose channel sorry my eyes are really bad I can't even see it and let me actually go ahead and make that a little bigger um, yeah okay now I can see a little better so and sea breeze luck hello uh, so yeah so I just thought I was gonna go ahead and just kinda play around um, I was thinking about making like a little side scroller this is gonna be Python so um, yeah let me go ahead and just uh, save um, so I'm gonna show my desktop and I think what I wanna do is I'm just gonna make a, I think what I want to do is make a side shooter. Um, usually I don't just kind of jump in and just start coding like this, but it's been a while. I'll be honest. I've been crazy busy. I actually have stuff to do, but you know what? I'm gonna do a little coding tonight. And okay, Srisrid multi-purpose channel. You said wait, please. I'm turning on my computer, so I will go slowly for you. Okay, so uh, what basically the idea I have is I want to, as usual, I'm gonna use the turtle module. So let me go ahead and Tokyo to say who I am. Tokyo EdTech, if you're on the channel, you probably know. And so I think scrolling shooter. And the idea is I just want to see what I can get done in, I don't know, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It is 7.15ish here in Tokyo. Um, how's the sound? Can you guys hear me? I don't have my normal uh, a microphone with me, so I'm just using the computer mic. Uh, Professor Snape, I like the name. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and try and make a little game, just see how it goes. Uh, I'm not gonna like really explain everything I'm doing, but if you have a question, just pop on in. This is really just for me to do something fun. Thank you, RFM, appreciate that. This is really just for me to kind of play around, do a little live coding, because uh, some people like live coding. I, I don't know. Um, and hello to India. So. Yeah, it says, it says something about the resolution and how's how's the uh, video quality? Are you guys able to see all right? So I'm getting some warning messages here, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so anyway, let's start coding. Um, as usual, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, turtle module. Thanks, appreciate that. And for those of you who are going to ask later, I am using Genie as my IDE. So Genie. IDE, and I think I'm on Python 3.8, but it should work on any Python 3 version. So, and I'm doing this all from memory, um, so I might make a few mistakes, might have to jump in. So, win.setup, uh, I'm going to make it 800 by 600. And again, I'm doing it from memory. Uh, make the background color uh, black, and win.title. Uh, side scroller, side scroll, side. Is that one word? Side scrolling shooter. By Tokyo EdTech. That's me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and all the way to the bottom here. I'm gonna say win dot main loop. And I'm gonna go ahead and test it and see what happens. Uh, wish me luck. Okay, so we got an error. So it says. Screen object has no attribute main loop. And if anybody at home knows what I'm doing here, um, why don't I use PyCharm? This is a lot faster, and yeah, I know, crazy thing. I'm waiting for Space Arena too. Uh, yeah, that happens. Uh, when that main loop? Now, why is it not working? Let me just check one thing here. Uh, build. Yeah, there's the problem. Um, Gotta make sure it's on Python 3. Let's go ahead and try that again. There we go. So here is my window. So my idea is that I'm going to make a little like spaceship character over here on the left, and there's gonna be enemies coming from the right, and I'm gonna shoot them down, 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 down. So let's see how that goes. Okay, and hello to everybody that's joining. Um, Seabreeze, sorry it, it froze. Hopefully it will unfreeze. Um, so yeah, so 
So the first thing, I need to make a player. So, uh, let's see here. Does anybody have a preference? Okay, Sreesh Rid, uh, welcome back. So, does anybody have a preference? Classes or no classes? Yep, I'm at, it is set up width and height. So I set up a, a width of 800 and a height of 600. That's kind of the old school dimensions. So do I want to use classes or not use classes? Where, where are we at here? Are we all beginners or are we okay with classes? I'll just make a little side score, tiny ma. And hello from Grace. Um, yeah, thanks. Use classes. All right, Cody Made Easy has made an executive decision. All right, so I'm going to say class player. And it is a child of the turtle module. Oops, so it will have all the attributes of the turtle. Well, I see we're already doing classes. Sorry, um, just follow along. So let's see here. How do I do this? Well, it's been a while since I've done this now. Um, self and definite self. And I'm going to try, how do I do that? Turtle dot turtle. Wow. It's been a long time. Uh, self. And, okay, let's see if that works. <laughs> so, and I'm going to say create uh, game objects. And I'm put here, I'm going to say put create classes. Wow. All right. This seemed like a good idea when I, when I started it. All right, I'm going to run it and see what happens. Okay, so, so far so good. And we don't see anything. Now, my guess is that it's because the default turtle is black, so we can't see it. And yeah, if it keeps freezing, let me know. It could be my internet. And David, I already answered that. I am using Genie IDE right here. Okay, and you can also see it right here, so use your eyes there, bud. Um, let's try this. Uh, Self.color. Uh, let's make it. Well, we'll make the we'll make the player green. Know, why not? Okay, so let's try that. And we're still not seeing the player. Why is that? Let's, oh, that's what's wrong here. Um, in its turtle dot turtle in itself. Um, self dot go to. Um, well, it should be go to zero comma zero. Hmm. I'll figure it out in a minute. Yeah, classes are always better if you can get them working, but clearly I'm doing something wrong here. So if anybody knows, just you know, feel free to jump in. Self dot shape. Um, we're gonna make that a triangle. Now I'm not getting any errors, so that's always a good sign. Um, turtle dot turtle dot in itself. And let's go ahead and hit function F5. And again, we're still not seeing the player, and I don't quite know why, which is kind of annoying. Um, they have to draw it. Yeah, you'd think you'd have to draw it, but usually when you start a turtle... Oh, duh! <laughs> yeah. uh, David, you don't have to draw it, but you actually have to create it. Uh, this is what happens when you... Yeah, that was really dumb. Okay, so you actually have to create the game object. Duh. There's our player. Okay, so there's our player. It's green. Uh, now again, if, for those of you who've never seen any of my turtle, uh, what do you call them, uh, tutorials, uh, all this stuff is explained there. Self dot. The heck do I want to put it here? Uh, speed. Okay. Now I'm gonna get a million questions about this, and why am I putting speed here? Um, this speed is the speed that the animation is done. This is part of the turtle module. Don't even think about this ever again. <laughs> okay, just trust me, you need that. Uh, and we also need, uh, actually up here, win.tracer. And I'm going to put the, set that to zero. And that sets screen to the fastest. And we're going to do win.update to update the screen. 
Yeah, Mr. Tech Guy, I was wondering about my next video, too. I just, I don't have my mic, and I, I don't have the right computer, and I just, everything, ha to me, I want to make sure everything's correct, so I wanted to do a video because it's been so long, and so I decided just, I had some time tonight, I'm just going to go ahead and just try and play around and make a little, quick little side-scrolling shooter. Okay, so, first thing I want to do is, I want to move my player over here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and so I'm going to start the player at minus... About 350 since the screen is uh, 800. Okay, now you see we've got a little problem here. We've got a line. Let's get rid of that. And that is from the turtle. So I'm going to do self.penup. And notice how I'm just. Jeez. I swear to God, I've coded before. This is not my first time. Um, you got to do the pen up before you do the go to. So that is that. Function F5. Okay, so we got our player over here, and it is ready to go. So next up, okay, so, sorry, multipurpose channel. I'm not sure how to say that first one. It's really hard to pronounce. Uh, it says, wait a little bit. So I'm going to slow down here. Let me just go over real quick what I've done. Oh, thanks, David. I did not know that was possible. Live and learn. Um, so real quick, I'm Tokyo Ed Tech. You probably know that since you're on my channel. Uh, I just thought I'd just jump in and just try and make a side scrolling, sh quick side scrolling shooter, and just for fun. And I'm using the Genie IDE. It's free, it's open source. Check it out. And I think I'm on Python 3.8. And actually, I'm on Linux. Uh, so, but everything I'm doing here should work on Windows and Mac as well. I'm not going to do anything that's like specific to those operating systems. I am using the Turtle module for graphics and for. Uh, you know, basically everything, the windows and things like that. I have created a window object. I called it WN. I could have called it anything. And it is actually a an instance of the Turtles screen class. The setup method lets me set the dimensions of the screen. So I set it to 800 width by 600 height. I changed the background color to black. I gave it a title. And Tracer is a little bit harder to explain, but basically what that does is it shuts off the window updates. And yeah, so that means you have to manually update the window. Uh, since a couple of people wanted to try classes, I said, all right, I'll try and create classes. So I've created a class called Player, and it is a child of the Turtle modules Turtle class. So it has all the abilities of a turtle, and I'm going to add to it some of my own ideas. So I've initialized it. This is called the constructor. Notice this is two underscores before and two underscores after, and there's a space here. I also have to initialize the parent, in this case, turtle.turtle. .turtle. I've set the color of my player to green. I've set the shape. I've put the pen up, moved it to a specific spot, and I set its animation speed to zero. This is something about the turtle module. Don't worry about it. This is not the actual speed of the game. Then, what I forgot to do earlier was to create an actual player object, high sheath, and I've done that here, and I've updated the screen, because Tracer turns off the screen updates. If I don't have this, the game will not show. And then this win.main loop, this keeps it from closing. So let's go ahead and run that, and that is where we're at. The next thing I want to do is I want to move my player up and down. So let's go ahead and take care of that. So what I need to do. I am making a side-scrolling shooter, Arnav and Anuf. And hi, David. Uh, unless you were saying hi to Ashith. So here we go. So I'm going to do something called keyboard binding. Okay, so I'm going to do win.listen. That tells the program to listen for keyboard input. And I'm going to do win.onkeypress. Okay. All right. So I think my internet connection is a little bit wonky here, so it might be cutting in and out. So I apologize for that. On key press, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say player dot up. Notice there's no parentheses there, and I'm going to use the W key. As I, I like the W key. You can use if you want to use the arrow key, you can just use up instead. Okay. So I'm going to use W. And then I'm going to do win.onkeypress player.down. 
and I'm going to use S for that. Okay. Now, those of you amongst us who have coded before probably say, hey, there is no player up or player down method. And you are correct. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. So I'm up to begin because we're using a class. I'm going to go up to my player. Oops, I'm going to go up to my player class. Actually, move this down a little bit so it's out of the way. And I'm going to make a new method. I'm going to call it def up and self because I'm moving its own thing. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say self dot dy equals. We'll try one. So what I have to do here is set self dot dy equal to zero. I have to give it a dy. dy means delta y. Yeah, Arnav, you can use up and down arrows. Instead of W, use capital U and small p, or capital D O W N. That will work. So dy is the up and down speed. Yeah, sorry, Arnav. It, it's telling me that my uh, internet is a little bit slow, but I'm not sure what to do about that other than move my computer, and I just don't have the energy to do that. So I apologize. Um, Again, I actually didn't expect that many people to jump in here. I thought I'd be by myself. Um, and I'm going to say def down self. And I'll say self dot dy equals negative 1. So what this does is it sets the player's vertical speed either to 1, which means it will go up, or down, or negative, which means it will go down. So what I have to do is also make a new method. Call, I'm going to call it move self. I'm going to say self dot uh, yeah self dot y core. Oh, sorry, self dot set y. Self dot y core. Extra parentheses. Plus self dot dy. Okay. And what this does, if you guys are hopefully you guys are still there, is What this does is it takes it sets the, the player's y coordinate to the current y coordinate, don't forget these parentheses, plus the vertical speed. The vertical speed is controlled by W and S. So when I press W, it will go up, and when I press S, it will go down. Ideally. Um, let's try it, see what happens. Ooh, actually that's no, not gonna work. I gotta also do this. So main game loop. Okay, hi set guys guess yeah. While true. So this this will just run forever. Okay. Now notice main loop isn't really needed anymore. So I can get rid of that. If you're on PyCharm, if you don't get rid of it, you're gonna get an error. Um, my computer won't give me an error, but it's still weird. So we've got some key presses and let's see if they actually work. Okay, so now I'm going to press W. Okay, that didn't work. I'm going to press S. That didn't work because I forgot to do player.move. Okay. So every time through this loop, the player is going to move. And we'll see how fast this is. It might be too fast. I'm going to have to adjust it. So I'm going to hit W. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's really fast. Now, you'll have to adjust this for your computer. So I'm going to try 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Linux is really, really fast. Windows is fast. Mac is really slow. Mac, you'll probably need like a 1 uh, or maybe even a 2. Windows, you'll need something like this. So let's try it again. OK, so that's about what I was looking for. So on my computer. Now you notice it goes off the screen, so we want to fix that in a second. But Arnav was saying that there is an error on PyCharm. Yeah, probably you're gonna get some errors. Okay, so what I gotta do is I gotta move it and then check for border collisions. So if self dot y core is greater than I think how tall is it? It's nine hundred. And Mr. Yeats, we are building a side scroller. So self.y coordinate is greater than 290. We say self.sety to 290. 
and we'll have it stop self.dy equals zero. And then I want to check the bottom L if self.y core is less than negative 290 self dot set y to negative 290 and self dot dy equals zero. Okay. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so I'm going to hit W to go up and it stops at the top and I'm going to hit S to go down and it stops at the bottom. It's a, it's a little bit off. I could change these numbers. We could do 280 instead. Just got to kind of play with it a little bit. I think the bars take up part of the screen. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try that one more time. So notice how I'm just kind of experimenting. Okay, that's a good enough spot to stop at. And I might want it to go a little faster later, but we can we can work with this. Okay. So, uh, yeah, is there a way to fix the speed for every device? So, so is that Vibnov or Vibnov? Sorry, I can't see. It's a little small on my screen. Um, with the turtle module, it's really really hard. I've tried a lot of different methods, and none of them have worked really well. That's why you should probably use. Uh, yeah, I'll post this on GitHub. Uh, Multi-purpose. Yeah, you should probably use Pygame if you're concerned with that kind of stuff. The turtle module isn't really made for games, but I just like to use it. Uh, I find it pretty easy and to, to get into compared to Pygame. Um, so you can see now I've got my player. The player goes up and down. It stops at the borders, which is what I want. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and make a weapon for the player uh, to use. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm a big believer in just kind of copying stuff. <laughs> and uh, so I know this works. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to paste it there. And I'm going to call this missile. Okay, and I'm going to make my missile, oh, let's see, red. And I'm going to make it a circle. And I can't remember the exact command. It's like stretch. No, it's uh, self dot. What the heck is it? All right, this is where we go to the turtle docs and turtle docs Python and try to figure out what we need. So let me uh, pull this over for a second. And oops, that's not what I wanted to happen. Yeah, figures. Um, so let's go ahead and do this like that. So I'm going to go to the turtle docs, and this will tell us what we're doing. Um, info club eventually, yes, I'm planning to do that. I haven't done, I haven't really done anything with Pi Game though. Um, that was my other idea tonight was to do some Pi Game stuff, but ah, that's it. Okay, so there is a shape size method. Okay, so that's what I want to do here. So I'm going to do for the missile. I'm going to do shape size, and I'm just going to make it 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0. So I want it to be about 30% the size of the uh, player, and let me move that over a little bit. And I want it to have no border, so let's go ahead and, and test that and see what happens. Actually, it should, I'm going to put that at 0, 0, so we know where it's at. Okay, again, I did the same thing I did last time. I forgot to actually create the missile object. So, missile... Eh, missile equals missile. Yeah, let's go ahead and run that. Okay, so there is my player's weapon. Okay. Yeah, Tech with Tim is awesome. I would definitely recommend that myself. And thank you, Anaf, I appreciate that. And Gakyu, yes, this is Ubuntu. Thank you for noticing. Um, I am a Linux user, a very happy Linux user. So, we got a missile, and we need to think about what we need the missile to do. Okay, so, the missile's not gonna be moving up and down, so I can get rid of dy, but it is gonna have a, a left and right speed. Okay, um, I'm gonna need to fire the missile. Okay, and when I fire it, I'm gonna say self.goto, the player x coordinate and 
Actually, I'm going to actually have the player x coordinate. Yeah, we'll do it like that. We'll see what happens. Player dot y core. Let's say self dot dx equals. Let's do one because it should it should fly fast. That might be too fast. And I'm going to say self. I'm going to say def move because I want it to move self. And self dot x core. No, it says set x. Sorry. Is x core. Self dot x core plus and again. I know I'm not really explaining things here. This is not my purpose tonight, to be honest. But I will put the code in the uh, thing. I just wanted to kind of, you know, try something new. I haven't really coded for fun for a while, so this is my attempt. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And okay, well, duh. Okay, now I need to add a new key press here. So win dot on key press uh, missile dot fire and space. I think it's capital. Let's find out. Nope. Okay, I get this question a lot. Um, it says bad event type or key symbol space. So it doesn't know what space means. Okay. Okay, Arian, look above you. Mr. Eats has already explained what I'm doing. Okay, use your eyes, bud. All right, so space. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit run that sucker. Space. Okay, so I'm gonna move it up. Okay, it's actually a little fast on my computer. I'm gonna go ahead and change that speed to uh, one. I'm gonna put zero point. We'll try zero point five instead. Let's try that. Space. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay. All right, so far so good. Um, yes, I will definitely post this on GitHub. Don't stress. Um, yeah, sorry if I missed some of the chats. But <laughs> our office is a high-level programming, uh, medium, we'll say. But again, I'm not. Uh, this is not my purpose. Is not to do a tutorial that everybody can understand. It's just I know people like to watch live coding. I'm not 100 percent sure why. I've never really done it myself, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd try it. Plus, I haven't really done any content on my channel for a while, and I feel bad. Um, so, anyway. so I've got a player now. I've got a missile, and so now I need an enemy. So I'm going to go ahead and same thing. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and I'm going to go ahead and add it here. So I'm going to say enemy. Oops, spell that correctly. And let's go ahead and make the enemies, let's see, we got red, make them yellow, and we'll make them yellow circles. Not very frightening, but we can, actually let's make them squares, because we don't have any squares yet. So I'm going to start my enemy at 350, just so we can see it, and I'm going to run it. Again, I forgot to actually create it. <laughs> so annoying. Um, enemy equals enemy. Enemy is not defined. What did I do wrong here? I spelled enemy with an M. Der. Okay. Let's go ahead and run that again. Okay, so I can shoot. Okay, I can shoot. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change this to the. Uh, I'm going to change this to up and down because. Yeah, WNS is killing me. It's a little too hard with this one. Down. So, try it again. Uh, it's not us. It's up. This is what happens when you try to code, follow a conversation, and explain at the same time. Okay. Alright, so far so good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure why this stuff keeps getting, uh... Yeah, some people are just like typing too much apparently, and it's like getting upset. I'm not sure why. Yeah, Ragov, you're done. Uh, okay, sorry, just putting too much crap in in the chat. So, uh, yeah, I think I 
block that person. Anywho, um, let's see here. Okay, so we got an enemy. The enemy has to move. Okay, so if we think about the enemy, the enemy is moving towards the player. So it's not going to have a dx, a y, it's going to have a dx. I'm going to make it minus 0. Point, I don't know, let's try 0 0.1. And the same thing, we're going to go ahead and do move. I'm actually just going to copy it since it's going to work the same as the missile. Okay, and self. And then down here I'm going to put uh, enemy.move. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, so you can see the enemy is moving. Now it moved right off the screen, but that's a different story. Okay. Yeah, and... Okay, I have put multi-purpose channel on timeout for 300 seconds. I will put it on GitHub when I have a chance. Jesus. <laughs> Some people's children. Anyway, so um, I've got, okay, so this is where basically we've got the basic structure of the game here. Shooting works, I can move the player, uh, we got an enemy that moves, but now we just got to kind of fill in some of the blanks, okay? So thinking about the enemy. So when the enemy reaches the left side of the screen, we have to think about what we want the enemy to do. Now, we could have it, you know, we could have it, you know, it could be a game over, it could say, okay, the, you lost, game's done, blah, blah, blah. We could do a, uh, we could have it just kind of wrap around, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, enemy, so let's do a border check. So if self dot x core is less than negative four hundred because the screen's eight hundred wide, self dot go to, and we'll put it back on the other side of the screen at four hundred. Okay. Uh, F society. I'm not too keen on your username, but uh, I live in Tokyo. Yes. And update. Okay, this can be done easy way. It probably can be done in Pi in Pi game. So go ahead. Okay, Fahad, you are. Let's see. Put user hide user on this channel. Okay, Fahad is gone. Loser, 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 loser. Uh, it's really immature, and I don't appreciate people like that at all. Um, Mr. Eats, I've already I've hidden him and and hidden him from the channel. So that's really childish. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and try this again. So it's going to go, okay, well, I got an error. Um, what did I do wrong? Oh, self go to, so that's the X, and I got to do the Y, self dot Y core. So I forgot the X, Y thing. Let's go ahead. And so hopefully that will rotate around. Okay, thank you, Ahmed. Okay, so you can see how now the enemy is rotating around, okay, which is kind of what we wanted. Now, let's do a couple things here. So it's going to be kind of boring if the enemy just keeps coming at the same spot each time. So what I want to do is I want to randomize where the enemy is going to come out. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and import the random module. If I can show that one because I don't mind being told I'm awesome. Um, yes, random, definitely Mr. Yeats. Uh, yeah, the turtle is a classic, Tomar. Yes, and Arnav, I am using random for that. You are correct. Okay, so what I'm going to do is when the enemy goes off the border, instead of putting it at the same Y coordinate, I'm going to use random.randint. Check the spelling. And it's going to be somewhere from negative, what, we'll do negative 350. I think that should be out the right range to 350. Okay, let me uh, move this over so you can see the whole line. Okay, I 
going to just go ahead and make the whole screen. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so that should bring it out. Let's try that. So it should pop up at somewhere different. Okay, so now it's popping up. All right, so this this is what we wanted. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Alrighty, so we're making progress. We've been at this for 35 minutes. I'm pretty happy with what we see. So let's see here. Now what we gotta do is we gotta do a collision with the. Uh, we gotta check and see if there's a collision. So we'll put that down here. Check for collisions. Okay, so. Let's first do, yes, Mr. Eats, I'm going to go ahead and do multiple in a bit. Remind me if I forget. Um, oh, yeah, enough. You, you are a pro. You've done all my tutorials. Yeah, oh, or not. I think you can use Rand Rage instead. I don't, I don't think it, it matters. Um, and coding, we're going to use distance between coordinates. You are correct. So I'm going to say if, uh, let's see, enemy.distance. And I'm going to say missile. And I think we'll do, let's see, it'll be 20, so 3, let's see, what's 3 times 2, 6, so 6, 3, 10, 13. Um, so basically, I took half the size of the enemy, which is 20, and half the size of the, well, 20 divided by 2 is 10, and half the size of the bullet, which is 30 times 20, 30% of 20, which is 6. Half of six is three. Um, then print collision. Okay, and I'm going to change this in a second, but I'm just testing this to make sure it works. Okay, so we want to watch back here. Okay, we well can see it, we did have a collision. So I'm going to go ahead and. It's hard to tell now because. But I'm pretty sure the collisions are working. So let's go ahead and do that. So if there's a collision, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the enemy. I'm just going to move it off the screen for now. And that way it does something different here. Let's, let's try this. OK, it's shot. That's good. But it's, ah, OK. So because I'm not in the class, I can't use self. So I have to use enemy out here. So let's try it again. Shot, good, boom, boom. OK, so we basically already have a working side-scrolling side scrolling shooter. And now it's slowing down. It does that sometimes. I haven't quite figured out why. Um, yeah, that's a weird one. Hopefully, it will fix itself. Yeah, coding made easy. You can do that. That's exactly what distance does. And yeah, that'll work. But the, the turtle module has this nice built-in distance method that we can use. So I just went ahead and used that. OK, so enemy. That's, OK, and then let's do check for collision. And we'll do if enemy.distance to the player is less than 20, because the player is a little bit bigger. We'll say print, you know, game over, and we'll exit the game. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run this. And I'm just, again, every time I do something, I'm going to test it. Oops. Actually, you don't have to use the math module. You can do a square root without the math module. Oops, okay, it's actually harder to hit that thing than I thought. OK, so it did work. Game over. That is what we wanted. Um, yeah, just somebody mentioned the math module. You can actually do a square root like this. So you could do like, so if you do like uh, 2 squared is like that. But if you want to do the square root, you do 0 0.5. That also works, because it's squared to a half. A little mathematical trick there. Anyway, yeah, score, we'll get to that eventually too. Um, yeah. Okay. So we basically again, there, it's not a pretty, it's not pretty code. There's a, there's a couple little weird things going on with the speed changing. I'm not 100 percent sure why it's doing that. We have tracer off. We have update here. Player move. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, 
So how to animate the background image. Yeah, you either have to use multiple background picks or just put some stuff in the background. So I mean, I'll try and get to that if I can. I, I'm not going to be able to do this for hours, but i got about another 15, 20 minutes. So somebody asked about creating multiple enemies, and I think that's really valuable. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a list. So enemies equals dun dun. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say enemies append enemy. So that will add a new enemy to that list. And I'm going to say for to in range. Let's say let's just do five enemies to make it easy. Okay. Now I hope you guys notice that because I get this question a lot because I did this in one of my other tutorials. Is I deleted enemy equals enemy. Okay. Get rid of that. I added this for loop, so I'm creating five enemies. And to do that, I'm appending an instance of the enemy class to this enemies list. So once I do that, I now have to put this whole, anything to do with the enemies, I have to put inside a loop. So for enemy in enemies. What that does is for every single enemy, it's going to move, it's going to check for collisions. So let's save that and run it. Okay. Now there we go. Okay, so it's working. And we've basically got a side scroller. A um, couple things already I want to fix. Actually, um, I don't like that the bullet keeps going when it collides. So what I'm going to do with the missile, or the missile I should say. So if the missile collides with the enemy, I'm going to do the following. We'll say missile.dy or dx equals zero. I'm going to say missile.go to. I'm going to send it off the screen. Send it to like zero, it doesn't matter. Zero, we will send it really up high, 1000. So it's off the screen away from the enemies. Okay, so let's run that and test it. Yeah, so, oops. Alrighty, so there we go. So the missile, see now the missile disappears when it collides with an enemy. All right, but yeah, it does keep slowing down. I'm not 100% sure. That could, well, it could be related to the fact that I'm doing the screencast, I don't know. Um, I don't know if that'll always do that. It does keep slowing down, which is kind of annoying. Um, yeah, missile clear. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Right. Yeah. So if the player's too slow, just change the speed, because I want to do that as well. I'm gonna actually speed up the player because it's just a little too slow right now. Um, player, 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 player. Yeah, DY. I'm gonna double the speed and see what happens. I'm gonna make it 0.1. Let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so the player moves a little faster now. Okay, well, that's weird. Um, there's like one indestructible. Well, actually, you notice like they all started at the same spot, so we got to fix that as well. So when the enemy is created, they are all starting at the same spot. So let's go ahead and randomize that. Copy. So I want the player to start at 350 and 290, I think 290 and 290. This is the vertical. So let's try that. Yeah, I can do the tracer thingy, but I have it set the highest speed. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now it's starting. Eh. So, so here's an idea. What I'm going to do, this is, this is just something I'm going to give a shot to, is when an enemy reaches the wall, I'm going to create a second enemy. So watch what I do here. Um, so 
Where's that at? If I can. So when the enemy hits the border, let's see if I can do this. Enemies dot append enemy. So you really want to kill those enemies. Okay. Okay, so you can see now there's more enemies because one reached the wall. Keep slowing down. Why is that? That's really bothering me. Um, see, so speed zero. Speed zero. Oh, I know why it's doing that. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, I made kind of a, a tactical mistake there. Can you make the enemies different colors? Yeah, we could do that. That's an easy one, so I'll go ahead and do that. Um, thanks, Abed. Okay, so to make them different colors, the enemies. So you can see here. Um, where's that enemy? So you can see here I've chosen yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to go ahead and make a list here. So colors equals, and what we'll do is we'll make a bunch of colors. We'll say yellow, uh, purple, uh, blue. I'm trying to avoid the colors of the of the player. Um, say white. And we'll do gray. Okay. So what you can do here is you can do random dot choice colors. So it'll take a color from this list and randomly add that. Let's go ahead and try that. Okay, I think it's starting out a little too fast, but we could we could speed that up too. That's another thing we could do is when the uh, enemy reaches the other side, we could speed it up a little bit. Why? Again, I'm not 100% sure why it's slowing down so much. It shouldn't be. But I'm sure it's just something I'm forgetting. Um, uh oh. Yeah. Well, again, yeah, you're gonna have to change the uh, speed based on your own computer. But let's see here, real quick. Um, what did I want to do? That was it. So, when the player gets to the end, say self dot dx times equals 1.1. And what that does is it will speed up the enemy. Every enemy that reaches the border, it will speed it up by 10%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it off a little bit slower because they're a little bit too fast, I think, at the beginning. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay. Okay, game over. Um, let me try one thing here. Uh, is it win? Not set un undo buffer. I'm gonna try this and see if it helps. Undo buffer zero. I'm not sure if it'll help or not. Yeah. Uh, let's try turtle. Okay, that doesn't help. Hmm. Anyway, that's what bothered me. Yeah, you could do the delay thing on off. It's just it's just not consistent. I always I always had that problem. Yeah, you can also do that, Arnav. That's a good idea. Um, but, darn, this is annoying me. Uh, Wind update. Wind update. Just wonder if I'm doing something weird. I shouldn't be. Um, hey, hey, 
all good here in Japan, at least the part I'm in. Um, okay, well, let's, actually, let me just try this. I want to see how many. I'm going to put 20 on the screen and see what happens. Okay, it definitely slows it down a bit. Hmm. Let me pin up and do buffer. All right, let me just go back here and check the uh, turtle docks again. Um, set undo buffer turtle. Okay, let's try that. And say turtle. Set undo buffer. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but size none. Okay, I'm not a very good shot at this. Um, yeah, actually, my computer is like really uh, starting to. Heat up, I guess. Well, partly the uh, screen screenshot. Are you guys having the same problem where everything's slowing down, or is it just me? Because if it's just me, then that's fine. But if it's everybody, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's what I figured. Hmm. Okay. So to do this. <laughs> to do this. Um, I'm going to have to really change things around a lot. Um, it's a big change. Do you, you want me to do it or you, do you really want me to do this change? <laughs> I know how to fix it. It's just, it just takes time. Um, well, let's go ahead and fix it. What the heck? Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create something called a pen. Turtle dot turtle and pen dot speed zero pen dot uh, let's see it doesn't matter color doesn't matter doesn't matter shape doesn't matter pen yeah pen dot pen up okay so yeah so what I want to do is I want to fix the uh, the fact that it's slowing down it's slowing down because we're adding turtles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other method that I've done before, and you, you'll see this in a second. So I'm creating a new turtle. It's called a pen. Okay. And so then what I have to do is make a new method for my sprites. So it's def render self and pen. You'll see what I'm going to do here. This. Time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say pen dot go to self dot X core, self dot y core. So pen dot uh, shape is self dot shape. Pen dot color is self dot color. And let's see. Shapes, color. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna make some major changes here. You'll see. Um, pen dot go to and then pen dot that's it. Stamp. Okay, so what I got to do here? So a lot of changes. So I'm deleting this. I'm deleting this. Equals green. Self dot pen up. Self dot go to. There's no more go to. I can't. Get, I can't do that. So I'm gonna say self dot x equals negative three fifty. This is a lot more changes than I thought, but we'll do it. Self.y equals zero. No more speed. And shape equals. Okay. So basically what I've done, yeah, it is frustrating. Um, but I don't know, this is this is the process, right? You know, no you don't necessarily do everything right the first time. Sometimes you gotta go back and fix things when you realize they're not working. So there's a good saying in Japan. Shogunai, which means there, you can't do anything about it. It's just that's just the way it is. So you got to deal. Uh, anyway, so so I got to get rid of anything that's from the turtle module. So set y has got to be 
self dot y equals yeah wow there's a lot of changes I'll put this on github <laughs> self dot y uh, equals and we get a ton of errors when I run this I'm sure but it's all right self dot y self dot y and self dot y equals and render. Now I'm going to have to do this for all of these, so it's going to take a few minutes. So again, I'm just taking out all of the turtle specific code, except for certain parts. Self.color equals red. I don't need to pen up anymore. Self.x equals zero. Actually, I, I want to make the missile start off the screen. So I'm going to say self.y equals 1000 self.shape equals circle. Oh no. Alright, self.size. Forgot about that. Equals 0 0.3. Get rid of that. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. This is probably a mistake, but oh well. Um, self.x equals player. Player dot player.x self.y equals player.y <sighs> Wow, this is a lot of stuff. And self.x equals self.x plus self.dx Okay, and last one. Self. We don't need the turtle stuff anymore. Keep the colors, self.color equals random.choiceColors. Don't need pen up. Say self yeah, self.x equals and we want to be 350. Actually let's let's make the let's do 400 so it's off the screen. And we'll say self.y equals random.randint. Self.shape equals square. Don't need self speed anymore. Okay. Whew! Yeah, Sammy, it's 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 long. <laughs> um, I don't want to do a delay variable just because it's a really blunt tool and it kind of screws things up. Uh, I, I just find it really hard to use. So, yeah. And self dot. And again, I could be wrong. This might not even work. Um, I should have checked it, but yeah, we'll see. I feel confident. X self dot. X equals 400 self dot y equals random dot rand int okay, I think that's correct alrighty so we've got move oh geez now we got a problem there's no more distance method because that was from the turtle module so I'm going to go ahead and use the thing and wow. Okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and make a method for the enemy. Well, let's how I'm gonna do this. Wow. Def distance self other. Okay, distance okay, D equals Self dot x minus other dot x squared plus self dot y. Now, I know this is complicated to follow, but again, this is just really hopefully for fun. And then I gotta do the square root. And asterisk 0 0.5. So that should calculate the distance. Return D. Actually, I'll just say return. Return. And I need this for all of my all of my different player objects here. So missile is going to need that probably. Enemy is definitely going to need that. So let's try that. So missile. Okay, again, I still have to get rid of all the uh, stuff for turtle. And I'll, I'll try and go over this real quick before, <laughs> once I'm done, if it works. And which right now is a very big if. 
x equals. I should have just made a, a, a go to method my my own, but right, let's do that. And okay, all right. And then I need to actually render everything as well. So player dot render missile dot render. And in here, I have to do enemy dot render. So that means I have to copy the render code, assuming it even works. God help me. Um, that was a lot of changes for something I don't even know it's going to work. So, you have to look harder enough. Okay, here we go. Okay, line 89, there is an error. So, 89, and unmatched things. Let's try it. Line 145, there is also an unmatched thing. Player object has no attribute pen up in line 25. So, I need to get rid of that because it's no longer a turtle object. Oh, and render is wrong, so I gotta do render. Get rid of that. This is actually gonna look pretty cool, probably. Uh, pen. Player object has no attribute X core, so that is line 52. 52, 52. Okay, so pen. Ah, self dot x. Self dot y. And pen dot stretch. No, pen dot. What was that command? I forget now. Um, size, size, size. Modified size. Shape size, there we go. Pen dot shape size one one zero. So this is for the player. The player size is one point one. The missile is zero point three. Zero point three. Zero point three. And the enemy is also one point one. Alright. Wow, four levels on the snake game. Uh, missile has no X core, line 79. Go to pen dot, go to self dot X, self dot Y. Self dot X. And again, all those changes were because of the speed. So let's see if it works. Now it's even slower. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, well that's kind of interesting. So this is what I have. Well, I doubt. I don't know if I'll come back to this. Um, this is this was just something for fun. I, I'm actually really really busy with grad school and stuff. Um, so there's one thing I forgot to do, um, and I think I got to do it down here. It's win. Was it win dot clear? Yeah, try clear. Now, why is that doing this? <laughs> hmm. Ouch! Something's definitely wrong. It's not pen dot clear. Oh, it's pen dot clear, not win dot clear. Pen dot clear. Alright, so far so good. Um, Hmm. 
It's funny because I've done this. I've done this method many, many times, but I can't. Yeah, thanks, Arnov. That's I, I just added it, but I'm lazy, so I'll copy it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much me. Um, that sums it up pretty well. Uh, let's move this back over. Why is that not working? Self shape, self color. This should be like way, 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 way faster. Let's try it this way. I don't think it matters. Well, like that shouldn't matter. Um, hmm. So I can see this one. I can't see anything else. Player render. Self dot shape. Green self dot shape. Okay, so what I want to do, because I can't quite figure out what's wrong, is I'm going to. Well, no, I can't do that because it's going to cause problems. You think pen clear right after the thing starts? Yeah, I know I'm, I'm missing something. Uh, I think the pen pen doesn't have the pen up. I got the pen pen up pen up. Um, that's a weird one. Uh, let's try it. If I put it right before update, will anything appear? Yeah, one thing's cut. Why is it only one thing? I'll try pen dot clear after it. There we go. There we go. Okay, so good news. Didn't make a whistle. I whistle all the time. Um, I don't think I changed the problem, but what the heck. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put this down to five, and then I'm gonna go ahead and again, this should be a lot faster. Again, it could. Well, like I said, you guys said you're having the same problem, so who knows. Um, So we're going to have to speed up things a little bit, because now that's running a little bit slower. So let's try making this negative one. That's the player speed. Let's make the missile twice the speed of the player, and make the enemies half the speed of the player. Okay, okay, there we go. Whoa, it's a little too fast. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Um, the video I have is not going to be two hours. I, I'm, I'm running out of steam here, but um, the player is moving a little bit too fast, like 0 0.8. So you just got to really just kind of play around with the numbers and just find numbers that work for your system. And let's make that one, and then let's make the enemies, like let's see, we'll stop, shut them out at half the speed of the player. Okay, now you can see how some of them are starting to move faster. The game's slowing down a little bit, I expected that, but... Okay, so that's kind of working. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go back to starting at five, and then what I want to do is I don't want to keep adding 
I'm gonna get rid of that line that adds enemies every time we have a collision. Um, there's just too many. So that was up here, in the border, or every time it goes off the border. But we will speed it up and do that. Okay, I died. <laughs> okay, I'm not very good at this game. Um, let's see. So I think it's one of those things where we'd have to kind of really play around with the numbers. But again, there, there's something just is not quite right here. At least not quite how I expected. Um, so there's that weird artifact down there, but we can go with that. you know, in Space Arena, it's just way faster. So I, I know I'm just doing something wrong. I just don't know what it is. Um, yeah, it's an unnamed side-scroller. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, this is not Space Arena. Sorry. Um, hmm. You know, I don't think we need that anymore. Wind Tracer. Again, this should work really, really well. But it's not, and again, I'm, I'm sure I'm just doing something stupid, because I do it all the time, but, uh, I'm going to update pen clear. Player move, missile move. Check for collisions. Okay, check for collisions. Yeah, I guess everything looks right. Okay, and function. Let's try it one more time. So you see how it's starting to slow down a bit. You know, it shouldn't be. So I'm at, if I did that, uh, well, the problem is that, like, they're, they're recycled. They're, so it goes off the left side of the screen, and then it comes back around. So this, that's, we don't want that to happen. I want to try one experiment here. Um, so this is say to my desktop side shooter. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. This is just kind of curious. Um, and I've had this problem before, but I don't know if it's that's what's causing it here. So what I'm going to try and do is I want to run this from the terminal. So if I go, I'll show you what I mean by that. Let me bring the terminal over. Okay, so CD desktop. So I do Python three side shooter. Now I'm running it from I'm running it from the terminal directly and not from Genie, just to see what happens. Okay, there we go. So far, it is not slowing down. Okay, so that is my guess that it has something to do with the way Genie is working. Um, so, so Mr. Yeats, the uh, the enemies do have different speeds. Like once they go off the screen. They go like ten times. They go ten percent faster. But yeah, you could do it in the start. So if I go over here to enemy, and so what I can do is I could say equals random dot rand int, and we'll say 
1 to 5, 1 to 5, and then we'll divide it by 10, or negative 10 actually. Okay, so that'll start it out with a random speed. Might be a little too fast, let's try it and see what happens. Okay, so that gives them a random speed at the beginning. Okay, so there is our random, that's basically our random side shooter. Um, I think what I want to actually do with this, I, one thing I want to add to it real quick uh, is I'd like to um, make it so that the player can move forward and backwards a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So player, I'm going to give the player a dx equals zero. And I'm going to give the player left and right. So def left self and self.dx equals let's say zero sorry left to be negative zero point four and def right is self and self.dx equals zero point four. And then what we'll do is we'll set a limit to where where it can move. So I'll say if self.x is less than negative 390. So self.x equals 390. And self.dx equals 0. And I'll say L if self.x is greater than, so we'll give it like a small range that it can move in. So negative 290, just for, we'll try that out. And I'll say self.x equals negative 290. Self.dx equals 0. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Oops, I didn't do the keyboard bindings. Duh. Okay, so I forgot to do this part here. So I'm going to do left, I'm going to do right, and this should be left, and this should be right. Okay, it's not working because, what, ah, I know what I did wrong. In my move method for the, the player, I only did self.y, I didn't do self.x. So I gotta move the x and y. Self.x equals self.x plus self.dx. So, I don't know, what would be the advantage of adding left and right? Um, a lot of games have it where you can move a limited left and right, which is what I've added. Oops, that was dumb. Uh, what the heck happened? <laughs> okay, just in time to die. Let's watch that one more time. So I can move just a little bit. Okay, so there's a little problem there. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, and there's a little bit of an error. I'll fix that now. Um, Self.x. That's weird. Um, Self.x equals negative 290. I'm going to negative 190. Negative 190. Yeah. Let's try it one more time. That's not what we wanted. So self dot x is less. Ah, oh, it should be negative three ninety. That's why. Sorry. So it gives it like a little bit of space that it can move. Just yeah, it just gives. I think it just gives the game a little extra dimension. Okay. And again, if I'm not running it. Because I'm running it in the IDE, it's slowing down. I have to figure out why, I'm not sure. But, uh, well, that was different. Kind of cool, actually. Phew. It's not supposed to happen, but it is. Um, it's just a weird artifact. But, uh, yeah. 
Vibe Nav, you are correct. Okay. Yeah, again, you don't, again, you guys, you know, you're the coder, you do what you want with your game, I'm going to do what I want with my game. Um, okay, I think that's about enough. <laughs> that's about as much as I can handle. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, just run through this real quick and just explain what I did. And then we will have to call it a night because I am very, very sleepy at this point. So, but yeah, thanks to everybody that, that did come in and watch. I do appreciate it. Um, I, was, I was surprised. I didn't think there'd be anybody here. Uh, thank you, Arnav. I think it's cool, too. Uh, so, let's see here. So, basically, we're using two modules for this, the turtle and the random module. We set up the screen, and it's 800 by 600. Background color is black. Gave it a, a title, uh, untitled scrolling shooter, uh, side-scrolling shooter. And the tracer is zero. This stops the screen updates, so we can control them better. Then we're using a turtle object as a pen to do that to make the drawings we use the class structure so player um, and then we've got color xy coordinates shapes and dx and dy that controls the vertical and horizontal speeds we have four directions the player can move in uh, up down left and right and we change the dx or dy to make that happen ah, thanks Barna, i appreciate that and it is 8.36 p.m. here in Tokyo. So when we move, we add the dy to the current y. We add the dx to the current x. Then we check for border collisions. We decided that the player could move up and down within a certain range, and it could move left and right within a certain range. And then there's a distance formula. This is Pythagorean theorem. This is uh, a squared plus b squared and the square root. That gives us the distance between two objects. And then we use rendering. So we actually are using the stamp method. So the pen changes, goes to the location of the object, changes the shape of the object, changes the color of the object, and is the same shape size as the object, and then we stamp it. And that speeds things up. So the missile works about the same, except that when we press the space bar, it fires, and then it moves to the right because the DX is set to one. And then same thing, move, there's a distance checker. We may not be using it yet, but we will at some point, I suppose, if we keep working on it. And then we render it. And then the enemy works the same way, except that we said the colors are random. And if the enemy makes it to the border, it becomes faster, 10% faster. And then it returns back to the other side. And we can actually randomize this too a little bit. I never did like that. So random dot rand int. We'll make it between 400 and 480. So it, it'll, so they'll come in at different times. Uh, then we create our player missile objects. We created five enemies. Did the keyboard binding so that when you press certain keys, certain things happen. Then we made a game main, main game loop. We updated the screen, cleared the pen. That was important. We figured out. And then we move the player, move the missile, render the pen, render the missile. And then for each enemy, moved it check for a collision with the missile, check for a collision with the player, and did the rendering. So one more time, this is what it looks like. So you can see how they're starting out at different speeds. Oops. Maybe what I should do is actually when the player kills it, let's slow it down by 20%, because that's getting really annoying. Um, so if the enemy collides with a missile, we'll say the, uh, the enemy dot dy times equals 0 0.8. So that will subtract 20% from the speed. So if something gets shot, it comes back, oops, but slower. Oh, enemy object has no attribute dy, that should be dx. -der. And this is the important of test, importance of testing. So, so you see how it came out, but now it's slower. So that's one way to give the player a bit more of an advantage. Now again, it's slowing down because of the IDE, which we figured out now. I'm not sure why. Oh, that's right, I can move left and right now. I forgot about that. Oh, 
Okay, so this makes the game a little bit more interesting. I think it's less, maybe a little less challenging. But again, we can go ahead and add stuff where the, the enemies, we can even have the enemies move up and down a little bit. Um, yeah, I think the speed's pretty good. Part of, yes. Yeah, I don't actually know the difference between Rand and Rand, 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 Rand Range. You'll have to look that one up, sorry. Um, I'm actually not using a microphone, sorry. Yeah, I left my microphone at work, so um, yeah, it, it probably doesn't sound that good, so I apologize for that. So, hey, I will put this into. Oh, animated background. Um, like, wh Ahmed, what did, you, what did you mean by animated background? Oh, image. I don't have any images to use right now, so that would take a little bit too long. Uh, but I think you just change the background image every once in a while if you, if you wanted to. Yeah, you just just you just need a GIF image, and you can just change it whenever you want. Um, yeah, it's not super super complex. Oh, frame by frame, then you just need a lot of images. Um, what I what I did what I did in the uh, Space Arena program was I just had some like stars moving in the background, so. Um, Sarah, you'll think you'll have to watch a different video for that one. I'm not sure. Okay. So yeah, a BG pick is what you want to use. So again, I will put this into GitHub. I will put the link in the uh, in the description down below. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. And again, I know this was fast. It wasn't really meant to be as a not to go. It wasn't really meant to be a, a proper tutorial. But I hope somebody gets something useful out of it. So thanks. And see you later. Bye, everybody.